All right, let's just make sure Jabari's catching the ball. He honestly should have just reached uh, for that one. He is leaving uh, Malik Sealy wide open, but oh yeah, Ray Allen base with a four-pointer. That's just too easy. 24 points, uh, one rebound, one assist for the main man, Jabari Smith. This guy, Dark Matter Jabari Smith. Got my hands on him, and oh my lord, is he beautiful. Aside from a Syracuse player, because that's my team, he's the guy that I watched the most this year. Watched all the Auburn games that I could and trust. They made him a beast in my team. We're talking about a six foot ten power forward, small forward, definitely running with the small forward with a seven foot two wingspan, who has the Ray Allen jumper on very quick with the Carmelo upper. It was super nice. Quick dribble style has the D Rose combo, the Trey or the D Rose size up, Trey combo, Trey escape, LeBron cross, Scotty behind the back, Luca step back, long athlete, the Michael Jordan dunking uh, animations, along with some very simple ones as well, which is kind of fun to have an occasional good one. Um, all around is insanely good. But before we check out his stats and badges, a message from the sponsor of today's video. If you need level 40, unlimited, limited, clutch time, domination, triple threat, or anything else on your 2K account, grind it, contact Rose NBA on Twitter and let them know X sent you. All right, now we can go ahead and flip over Jabari and check out that six foot 10 frame, 220 from Auburn. Absolutely amazing. It was awesome watching this guy all year, to be honest. Um, and just absolutely amazing. I mean, the guy literally can do everything. As a 93 fade and hook, a 90 driving layup, a 96 midi, 97 three-point shot, 91 free throw, 85 standing, 90 driving dunk, 90 ball handle, crazy good playmaking, a 92 block, 90 steal, 95 perimeter, 94 interior defense. I mean, he's just, he's just good. Like, he is just one of the best cards overall. Um, and that's exactly why I think he's projected to be like a top three pick right now. I think he's actually supposed to go number one to Orlando as far as we know, which is kind of crazy. Um, great rebounding though. 95 speed speed on acceleration is a 98 stamina, 93 lateral quickness. I've already checked out the tendencies and it's 98s across the board, which is absolutely gorgeous. Pass interception, almost seal, contest shot, block shot, all 98s. And then for our Hall of Fame badges, 45 of them, like all these next cards do. Catch and shoot, corner, difficult shots, fearless, acrobat, brick wall, post spin, ankle breaker, hyper drive, pickpocket, rim protector, and clamps with that 7-2 wingspan is crazy. Quick chain, interceptor, intimidator, posterizer, rebound chaser, and pogo stick, post move lockdown, taos defender, worm, lucky number seven, blinders, circus threes, limitless spot up, and chef, which is just gorgeous. Siddly finisher, downhill, handles for days, quick first step, dead eye, and sniper, stop and pop, green machine, and hot sun hunter as well. Unstrippable bullet passer, limitless takeoff, Siddly finisher, fast twitch, and menace. If I'm being honest, I think this Jabari is probably one of the best cards that dropped today, maybe even top three between like him, Chet, um, and maybe that Dyson Williams, six foot eight, or Dyson Daniels. Crazy. But uh, we do have 33 gold badges. I'll just quickly scroll through these just so we can see them. You know, Dimer, Glue Hands, Pick Dodger, um, Off Ball Pest, Mitch Mack, um, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, Bailout, Needle Threader, Unpuckable, Ankle Braces, Triple Thread Juke, Ball Stripper, and Hustle. Like all around crazy. If you guys like the Ray Allen Jump Shot base, you are going to love this Jabari Smith. Now he is going at least right now for above 200k, so definitely expensive. I got a, a quick 100k snipe. I'm hoping that it stays a snipe so I can at least flip him for a little bit of MT. But absolutely insane card. A six foot ten Ray Allen. It is cheese, and I'm super excited to hop straight to the gameplay with Dark Matter Jabari Smith. Yeah. All right, here we go. Steph and Lamella. We actually have our own Steph and Keegan Murray. Anthony Edwards, Al Horford, and Bam. A really undersized lineup. Be so much better just not running, um, honestly, anybody at the positions that they're at right now. Lamella at the one, better. Anthony Edwards, better at the two. Horford, better as a four. Bam, better as a four, so I guess he's good right there. But anyway, let's hop into this with Jabari Smith, who uh, actually has, I think, a pretty good matchup, at least in my opinion, um, being guarded by that Anthony Edwards, just a massive height advantage. And oh, nice and easy catch and shoot right there. We got two guys with the rail and base in Jabari Smith and Malik Seeley, which is just going to be so easy. Oh, my Lord. Malik Seeley is just flying out through this. And look at this. We got Jabari just open in the corner. He's too busy trying to take charges and leave a Jabari open in that corner. Ray Allen might be one of the best, if not the best, catch and shoot jumpers in the game. It is just so smooth, so consistent, so clean. And Jabari is going to use it pretty damn well. as we can see. All right. So he ties it up based off of a, uh, a foul. Sadly, that a um, new ball was getting on that Steph Curry. I will call a quick little screen run this out. I don't know where he's going, but easy greens for Keegan or Keegan for Jabari Smith. Nine points right there, but I got to get the slashing game on because obviously he is goaded at slashing and I have so far not shown that off. Oh, we got Manu. Beautiful defense. What a board. And Jabari is going to be slow to get back because of that crazy rebound right there. 
All right, that's not ideal. Not a full core press with staff. He's actually lucky that I haven't used this uh, Batum to get anything crazy. But here we go. King in our Jamari with the dug right there. I am choking up all of my calling people the correct names. But what a, uh, a poster right there. Um, great defense. And Al Horford is not going to be snagging that rebound this time. Wait for him to close out just a little bit right there. And then attack it again with Jabari not getting the dunk, but getting a crazy little fillet finish right there. Absolutely insane guard. And now with 13 points. Oh my, Minute with the snatch block. That is just crazy. Ray Allen to Ray Allen wannabe. And we're smacking that out. Jabari absolutely cooking it up. Once you get this guy on the break, it is crazy. 13 and two assists. He's just having himself a absolute time. And baiting out those uh, snatch back threes that everybody wants to do. And uh, ooh, bam, and Anthony Edwards closing out. And oh, oh, we try to do a right stick dunk. It doesn't work out in our favor, but... We'll kick it back out. Slightly early catch and shoot three is going in. 16 points for Jabari Smith. Just having an absolute time. He's just having his way out here. This guy is crazy, crazy, crazy good. Good little board right there. He is running. We do have Al Horford on him, so we got to be careful about that just a little bit. And now we'll call the screen. Fake it that way. And oh, I didn't even realize the time was that low. Uh, let's hop into game number two. We're having a good time with Jabari Smith. The guy is just as good as you would expect him to be. All right. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Oh my lord, we have Dwight Howard, Ruby, Rudy, Fernandez, Darius Garland, all rubies, and then Amethyst, uh, RJ Barrett with the uh, Galaxy Opal Zion, which everybody's still running. Uh, very, very, I guess I'll say interesting squad as an attempt to not be fully disrespectful uh, to our man's lineup. Uh, we are losing the jump ball because I just didn't time it correctly, but this should be a very, very easy game for Jabari, especially. All right, we can see Jabari Smith literally already running out. So let's just give this one to Nicholas Batum, drive it in, kick it out, and easy threes right there in the corner. Three points. This RJ Barrett is not going to be able to guard Jabari like in the slightest. All right, we got a quick little uh, pass in right here. I'm going to try to get a little dip down pass um, to Jabari in the corner. Let's try to loop around this little, a little, little hop. Ooh, use the moves, attack the basket up oh, and get the foul on Dwight Howard so we can check out that free throw animation. I really haven't used his like D-Bro size up or like thing like that actually right now, which is kind of a crime because it's one of the best animations in the game. Uh, so I guess we'll do that a little bit more. Uh, try to attack this RJ and use him more as an on-ball player instead of off-ball like we did last time. Uh, but two easy free throws right there for Jabari. Slower release, uh, but they're still going in pretty well. I'm just I'm kind of letting him shoot these uh, open four pointers with Darius Garland uh, because the card just doesn't really scare me all that much. Oh, my God. Look at that D Rose size up in the dunk by Jabari. This card is crazy. And that's why the D Rose size up is so good. Perfect boost, perfect animation and just easy dunks off of it. Just such a good card and good animations. Get that close out. Thank you, Batum. Grab that one. Give it to Malik. Let's see. We got Jabari running in that corner. Uh, thank God RJ is not smacking that one. Attack it again. And oh, that Jordan animation is sadly getting blocked. Uh, but that's just an easy read on those steals. Jabari run into the corner. Let's try it again. And oh my, he gets shifted to a layup yet again. Just uh, tough scenes out there. We're giving up a Rudy three. Maybe not. We're all good on the defensive end here. I was gonna again quickly just throw it up to Jabari. He is still uh, guarding him with this uh, RJ Barrett, which I just honestly don't even know why. But fade that to the corner, easy green right there for Jabari. I actually don't think he has the normal leaner. I'm actually gonna double check, but it's still a money leaner, and you can still obviously time whatever the hell you want with him. He's he's great. Okay, so I looked it up. He actually has the Trey Young leaner, which is not one that I guess I've used too much. Uh, but oh, Ray Allen base wide open. Oh, sadly, bricking out that shot. Wasn't ready for the steal either, but we do have RJ Barrett running in. And uh, he didn't press square at the right time on the alley-oop right there, which is obviously just super unfortunate. And here we go. Easy catch and shoot. Bang it out. 15 points for Jabari Smith. This guy's just, he's an absolute menace. He can do literally whatever the hell he wants on the court and nobody's off. All right, we're going to give him another wide open uh, four-pointer right there with that Ruby Darius Garland just because that guard is not stopping us. Oh, and he's reaching just a little bit too late. Putting Jabari Smith back at the free throw line, which we saw was a bad idea. He does have a slow animation, but it's literally so money. He's got like a 94, 95 rating. So even though he's got a slow animation with Hall of Fame clutch shooter, these are just easy free buckets right now for Jabari. 17 quick little points. All right, he's trying more alley-oops, but we are just shutting that down. Kyler Murray is running to the corner, but we got the main man, Jabari. Easy catch and shoot three, and now sharpshooter takeover activated. Wish it was slasher, but we'll take sharpshooter and maybe chuck out a four-pointer or two. 
All right, let's just make sure Jabari's catching the ball. He honestly should have just reached uh, for that one. He is leaving uh, Malik Sealy wide open, but oh yeah, Ray Allen base with a four pointer. That's just too easy. 24 points, uh, one rebound, one assist for the main man, Jabari Smith. This guy is just crazy good, and I can't wait to see him play in the NBA on it. All right, giving him more open four pointers. Somehow, Dwight is getting away with that one. Interesting little. Okay, Dwight, look at him. Look at this Dwight Howard just absolutely cooking us up. Now we're uh, slashing with Dwight Howard, or with Zion Williamson, uh, not working out too well in our favor. We're reaching yet again, and Jabari with sharp takeover. That four pointer is gonna hit yet again. 28 points. The guy is just an absolute menace, and that's most likely a game end. 31 uh, to whatever. Actually, we'll throw it up to Kyler Murray and get one last brick of a dunk uh, to finish her right off. All right, so here's the unbox score for Jabari. 28 points, one rebound, one assist, 8 of 12 from the field, and 6 8 from 3, 4 of 4 from the free throw line. And seriously, the best card that I've used today, I will say it's between uh, Jabari Smith and Keegan Murray for the best card that I've used today. And that is without using um, the wonderful man Chet Holmgren. But Jabari is just good at everything. We're talking about a 6'10 Ray Allen who plays absolutely insane defense, has a post game, is rebounding well, is literally dunking in everybody, hyper athletic, super fast on the court, and now is one of the best catch and shoot jumpers in the game. One of the best cards that dropped today. So glad I got him for like 100K. If he's going for above that, um, I still would pick this guy up. Easily worth like 150, 200K in my opinion. Absolutely amazing card. Super fun, super nice. Um, and if you guys are wondering what Keegan Murray looks like, check him out. Link in the description down below to the Keegan Murray gameplay. And we also have a wonderful gameplay out on the man Paolo Boncaro as well. Link to the description. Link in the description to that as well. Hope you guys have a great day. Like what you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video.